glad you joined us this afternoon. Um, wow, we've gotten through January. I know. Yay, we <laughs> survived January. And so uh, far, it's not a redo of 2020 or 2021. Yeah. Fingers crossed, folks. We're only a month in. Come on. Well, I've got <laughs> hopes and dreams. I'm a dreamer. We're very optimistic people. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm dreaming that we're going to have a really great year. Yeah, well, I'm hoping so, too. So, so thank you, audience, for um, really tuning in uh, at our podcast last week. And we had... A lot of yeah, it is kind of an ouch a little bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, I mean, we've got really great supportive uh, comments where everybody is kind of showing good sensibilities, yeah. and and we know that that people like come together, and that this really isn't a realistic division for them. Then there's some of those other comments. Oh my goodness, I mean. You know, I don't know that we've had a podcast yet that I've been, uh, and, and you've been, we both have been, um, you know, basically being called racist and being called, um, you know, all kinds of things. I know. I mean, I, I apparently there's some people that believe that we're racist just because we say that we're not biased and bigoted. Yeah, absolutely. And, well, we don't um, have a right to say that anymore. We can't even defend that because if we defend that, then somehow we're getting on the last nerve of some people. Well, but here's but here's yeah. the thing. I mean, I shouldn't have to defend that no. because that's my reality. I'm not a racist and I'm not a bigot. Yeah, and I, I that is, that's that's my reality. And guess what? Someone who does not know me, who does not anything, does not get to judge me merely by the way yeah. I look because that in itself is racist and bigoted. Well, that is true. That is absolutely true. Um, yeah, you know, we, we, we're actually going to kind of, you know, touch on the comments a little bit. And, and basically, because we love it when you engage in, in whether you you know, believe what we believe or, or you feel the same feelings that we feel, it's important that you are expressing it, you know, because that's exactly why we started this. This is, we're not the news. You know, what we right. do is we do I'm a lot of research. A no, and neither am I. And we do a lot of research, sure. And we, we, we touch on and we have conversations about subjects that we feel are very important to not just ourselves, but to you out there as well as the rest of the, the not just country, but even the world. So we're going to have conversations about that, but it doesn't necessarily mean we're trying to, you know, make you believe something that you don't want to believe. I mean, right. believe what you want to believe. Well, basically, okay? I mean, kind of, kind of the motivation is if we all talk together, yeah. then maybe, maybe you might not like what somebody has to say at that moment, yeah. but maybe you can think about it a Down little bit road, and you change. can at least, yeah. and you can at least understand why they feel the way they do and maybe you know kind of soften on your stance just a little bit and that goes for me also I mean the the best um, education I've had in my life is from bouncing ideas off people and thoughts and then getting their input and thinking on that and saying you know what there goes the squirrels. <laughs> yes, we, we still have the rescue squirrels in the cage uh, because they're not ready to be released yet. They will in the spring, though. And, and they get excited. They hear us talk, and they get a little bit jealous, yeah. and so they make racket because they want our attention. Well, by now, I think our audience really understands that there's no telling what you're going to, what's going to appear on right. this podcast, a squirrels, dog, a cat, birds, a monkeys, crippled cats, yeah. you name it. Crippled <laughs> we have cats, it all. I know, dogs. <laughs> that I mean it's that have been dumped it's, it's amazing well back on your subject um, I like what you're saying because it is true in a lot of the comments I do have I do see a lot of interaction between people with each other and as a result of that some of them say okay well I agree on this part but right. I don't agree on that part and that's actually and that's okay. called it's it's called having a conversation right. with somebody else so the reason that we did this is for that we were motivated to do that so that we can start well, a dialect with each other and also offer uh, topic subjects and, and that one, might interest you. One thing that I have noticed is most people, most people um, are not over the line. Yeah. Um, yeah. In their in their comments, um, most people are firm with what they say, but they're not ridiculous. Uh, but every now and then we get some comments that are just above and beyond. Well, and, yeah, like for instance, you know, uh, saying that we need to have a, a white sheet on our head and the holes cut out, and then of course we would be on our knees, uh, the, that's on a Saturday, and then we'd be on our knees on a Sunday. Well, first of all, the last time that I wore a white sheet, mm -hmm. I think I was like seven years old, and it was, it was a Casper costume for Halloween. Well, and so actually I have a true story I'm offended story by about that, that, really. <laughs> yeah, I have a true story about that. In first grade, when I was when I was trick or treating in my neighborhood, um, I had we were we were poor. I had a mother that worked two jobs and and um, 
And there were, weren't any expensive costumes. Of course, that was 150 years ago, too. But So we took an old white bed sheet. Literally, yeah. this is a true story. Yeah. And she cut holes in it and all that. And then I had a little rope around my waist. And what's so funny is at this one house, the lady came to the door. And she looked at me and she said, what are you? What are you? And I said, a ghost? Because I had no idea that yeah. there could have even been anything else that I could have been. And I, yeah. I'm coming up on 57, so, I mean, this wasn't yesterday, yeah. but it wasn't so long ago. But I, I was... How wonderful is that, you know? Right. I had, just, I had no idea what she was referring to, and that's an honest-to-God true story. Uh, which, my, my grade school friend that was trick-or-treating with me could, could you know back me up on this, I I I didn't yeah. understand why she even asked that question. Well, you know, and that actually goes to the whole topic subject that we covered last week. Um, it's not all about CRT, critical race theory. It's not about that at all. And yes, for all of you folks that, you know, jumped in and said, oh, that's a college course that's not being taught no, in school. it is let taught me, in let schools. Me just, let me just clarify here. You know, what we are saying about this is, we don't want that subject or any other subject to be used as some sort of weaponry against our children to divide and also uh, to make one feel less than the other or over and above someone else. And, and actually, yeah, I don't really like it being, um, you know, put in their minds that, you know, someone owes them something, uh, reparations and all these kinds of things. Listen, you know, that what you just said, that story, that's the innocence that I would like to see continue right. throughout our children. We're past all that. We are centuries removed from slavery. We are. And I'm not denying history, and nor should I, or n nor right. should and anybody we, else. We should never ignore what happened. It. No. Right. And, 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 and frankly, yeah. we, we do have a, a past of, of yeah. people in our society Many different groups of sure. people, and their accomplishments being overlooked, and we don't, and we don't want that. But what we're saying is going overboard yes. and persecuting yes. someone because of the skin color they were born with, um, yeah. not because not of okay. the past. It is not. It's not. It's okay. not right to do that. It's I mean, not we're okay. just we're not going to do that to each other. No, not to each other, and certainly not to these innocent minds. Such as if that woman had a set you aside and said, this is what happened, it would have not only ruined your Halloween, but it would oh, have been right. a very confusing situation. So I'm really no glad problem. the CRT is a college course good because your minds are more developed and maybe you can handle things. But when you're dealing with children and they are getting along and they're playing ball and they're doing all these wonderful things together, why take it over the limit and, and enforce it in their minds that something so bad happened centuries ago that should still oppress them today. Well, to me, it's BS. I mean, for, for instance, my, simple. with my children in the colleges and university, the college and university that, that they've gone to, um, I would never tell my, my child who went to this university campus and loved everyone, had all, all of her best friends, actually, um, my daughter who, who went to school in another state, um, we're all multicultural, yeah. uh, from from legal immigrants, yes. uh, of Hispanics, blacks. Yeah. One of her best friend uh, friends. I mean, and even college roommates. I I don't. I think there was. Yeah. She didn't doesn't even have. To, she was the only. Doesn't need to be the way that they're right. That and some people want it to with continue a pure to be. heart and for the the idea that I'm supposed to sit her down and tell her that she's born a criminal and born a villain because she's white is ridiculous. Why would I want to push that on my child and, and, and make my child believe that she is less because of her skin color? It's the same thing that we fought against all these that's years. That's what we are that's saying. That's absolutely true. And, and also uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. also in his speeches, and I've said this, you know, in some of the comments even back, you know, he's speaking to all of us, was speaking to all of us. And if you stay in the mindset that you're a Press. And I mean, I, you know, I said BS. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. But if you look, let's look at the athletes. Let's look at people that have succeeded as an athlete, making millions of dollars. 
ask them the same question. Do they feel like something that happened centuries ago is oppressed them in any way? They're making millions of dollars. Right. But they will to, still say it has. Well, so maybe some of them might. Some and, do, some don't. You know, because some people just carry that torch, and that's really what it is. So I just stop it. I mean, just stop it. Sometimes people need to, to think that it's always someone else's fault. And even if they can't reach in today's world and get it, they're going to go back centuries ago right. to get it so that they feel better about their own either successes right. or fails well, um, in life. And that that's my take on that. So just stop it. Right. Go get a job. Get an education. Uh, you know, have wonderful white, black, brown, green, yellow, purple friends. Uh, and, and, and let's go forward in the future. And, you know, today is Black History Month. You know, hats off right. to you. That's we recognize. We, we, we recognize that that it's not always been appreciated. It, it is and, not, and, and it the is culture's not. been appreciated, and all these kinds of things. There's no question about that. But neither the Native Americans. I mean, you can go back the Irish. You can go back. You know, to I could sit here all day and pinpoint, you know, atrocities that have happened across this nation and others. You know, to people. Okay, to people. Literally, right. There's a you there know? is a horrible, so, horrible past, and and um and I do think that and we, we recognize owe it, it. Okay. and we do and we do owe it to our children and and grandchildren to um to educate them about that. We're we not do. running from history, people. Because for those we, of you who comment, keep commenting that we're not running right. or afraid of history, right? And, or even I'm not ashamed. I'm not going to feel the shame for something that happened centuries ago. I don't like it. I wished it hadn't happened. It's truly never okay to enslave any human being. If you stay in the mindset of victimhood, um, that unfortunately, that's a generational thing that keeps getting passed down from generation to generation. So on that side of the coin, just stop that. And then on the other flip side of the coin, you parents out there that still are racist to some degree, you need to stop that. Let's let these children grow up uh, with each other and actually be unified as a, as a people, as and, a people, and maybe, not as a race. And here's here's what I'm encouraging. Um, just like I mentioned with, with my children and um, the many, many, many cultures that they experienced uh, growing up, reach out, get to know somebody, you know? Yeah. I mean, if you... If the, the tighter circle you have, yeah. um, the tighter your mindset's going to be. True. Get to and just good talk to each other. You know, talk to each other. Uh, I remember one of the funniest, funniest um, experiences of my life, and this, this is we still laugh about this in my family. I was driving to Florida to the beach with my children. And I had a son that was really unruly and really hard to handle. So I pulled over to spank his behind in the parking lot of a Pentecostal church. I know her son. Yeah, yeah. In in a in a in a very no, no. racially He's diverse an amazing area. Child today, or amazing son today. And, sure. and they were having they were having Probably church because you spanked him. Yeah, boy, howdy. And um, and I was I mean I had him and I I was explaining to him about what he was doing wrong and I was I was I spanked him. And we were about to get back in the car, and this beautiful, precious lady uh, stepped out of the church to get something out of her car, and she looked at me, and she said, amen, sister, you know, because she under, we understood each other, and, yeah. and she knew exactly what, yeah. what I was doing and why I was doing it, and yeah. God bless that woman, and I'm just saying, yeah. you know, if you don't, you can, you can have a stance, you can stand on the rock all For day. Sure. Yeah. Um, and that goes each way. Yeah. But, you know, try to have a little bit of understanding with each other. Try to just think, uh, you know, I don't get to tell you why you should feel emotionally the way you do. And likewise, you don't get to tell me that my emotions are wrong. Yeah. But how about we try to understand each other yeah. and maybe come off that rock just a little bit and, and see why we think the way we do. And, and kind of correct that. I'm a big believer that, you know, deep down, everybody really wants to come to this one great, big, huge agreement about life. I think they you do. I think, it, and I think a lot of people don't want to take the effort But we're holding that. each other down by not, uh, you know, not... Um, holding each other up. Right. We're holding each other down right. by not lifting each other up. And we should be doing that. But I'm also, you know, of the mindset that, you know, you know 
I'm what not you the know. cause for anybody's victimhood. <laughs> exactly. I'm just not. You know, neither am I. And I'm not going to accept right. that no matter what or who says what. I know that I am not your problem out right. there. And okay. And um, the I, idea, I don't want you not to succeed. I don't want you to fail. Well, and I, I to, want you the, to, to succeed in There's life. something I have to say. Okay. Um, in, in the case of your family, I don't have grandchildren yeah. or great-grandchildren. And the idea is appalling. It's absolutely yeah. appalling to me that... That one, you know, yeah. some of your grandchildren yeah. should be treated differently yes. than than other Anybody grandchildren yeah. because they have a different skin color, and because some children are not multicultural of background, and others are, that those children should be treated differently and special. That is what appalls me because yeah. these children are all God's creation, yes. and the idea that some should be raised as yeah. villains while others should be raised as victims is beyond yeah. disgusting to me. And that really that really goes back to the parents again and, and part of our subject matter last week was just defining the fact that it should be parents that really it starts in the home, change Absolutely. starts in the home. So Absolutely. We, we reach out there to you and start it starts in the home to have a different mindset and and, and so your kids can grow up. Um, as equal as they really are. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> as equal as they really That's are. Right. Give them all all the opportunities in the world, uh, no matter what their 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 race or their skin color happens to be. So today's world, we see a lot of multicultural, multiracial families, and um, and it's 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 very, it's heartwarming for me because it, it we've reached across a line literally and said. This is okay. We're just a people. Right. And we're, know, just we're just love a each people. Other. And the only way that we're not going to think like that is if it continues to be put into their minds that that something bad or something is just, you know, you're still bad today because you've been born of a color or you're still oppressed today because you've been born of a color. Or why don't we just take the liberties and justice for all that we at least do and the free America that we're still trying to hang on to and just move forward in life and succeed and don't blame others for failure exactly because i think that's Good really point. what's happening that's the best way to sum it up <laughs> yep it is all right so we're gonna we just want to touch on that and next week we'll have something else we'll, we'll go on to a different subject for you but we do appreciate our audience and we do appreciate you you guys tuning in and sharing your comments with us. We love you all. We hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful month. Um, and actually, yeah. next we and, are and closing <laughs> this up. We're closing this yeah. up so that we can go yeah. do, make a delivery of some dog food to a wonderful lady yeah. who has that actually um, took one of the rescues that we right we actually and went and rescued. Taken, so. taken <laughs> rescue. She's over seventy and she's taken rescues yeah. her whole entire life. So. Yeah. We're about to go make a dog food. We are going to go make a dog food run and then a little gift card for her so that that helps her get through the remainder of the winter with the animals that she's taking in. So, And we do appreciate your donations. So while we're on that subject, go over to redbootsandheels.com. Anything that you want to give or could give, we appreciate. We make sure we, we put it to the right uses. Um, and listen, until next time, we're just going to say so long for now. Bye-bye.